Welcome to another episode of the Dante Show Network Story Times, where I tell prison stories, hood stories, and supernatural stories. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. It's your boy, Cha Cha. Charlie Global back once again with another one. Oh, yeah, man. Shout out to the Dante Show Network for bringing me on, man. Man, I'm in this damn thing, boy. Oh, yeah. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button. Leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel. Y'all can also subscribe to my channel on YouTube at Charlie Global. Oh, yeah, boy. I got that heat, boy. Oh, yeah, man. I had to pull up on the Dante Show Network and drop some over here, too. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, man, I got to tell y'all about Pookie. I was at Ultra State Prison, man. Oh, man. There was Sodom and Gomorrah all over again, man. Yeah, I'm in E building. I'm in E1. Oh man, so my my lab bought me had Jalil, cause you know what I'm saying. He got put on the dope. He had he was a blood. He had something going on with his bloods. He got put on the dope. You know what I'm saying. They got him up out the dorm. So transfer day come, they bring about four dudes in my dorm, and just my luck, they bring this dude named Pookie to my room. Now Pookie pull up to the room with some. With some old Air Force One that were lean and like his fat cousin had them on. You know what I'm saying? Them things look like he was walking on the side of them damn thing. Oh, yeah. Man. And then his clothes were so dirty and it how it looked like somebody got a piece of cornbread and just rubbed it all over that boy head. Because he, it looked like crumb. Like, it looked like you could see dandruff picking peas in that boy head. Don't tell me that boy was on the floor. Then... When he came in my room, he cracked a smile. I thought he had a grill in his mouth. His teeth were so yellow. Oh, man, he looked like juvenile when he dropped back that ass up. It looked like he was slugged out, but he was dope. He just had that unbelievable butter on it, man. Believe it. Yeah, believe it. It's butter. Yeah, could have got a piece of bread and wiped it in that boy's mouth and made toast with that boy. Yeah, but anyway... I smell them off the rip, and you know I'm big on hygiene, you know what I'm saying, cleanliness, got to have it, so I'm like, hey bro, you straight, you got some hygiene or whatever to go, you know you want to hop in that shower, man, you know what I'm saying, you just getting out the hole, you know what I'm saying, because that's what he said, he said in last prison, prior to him coming to this prison, he was in the hole, so he was like, man, I got transferred out the hole, you know, normally when somebody get out the hole, first thing they want to do is go get in that water, so I'm checking out his property. He ain't really had nothing. Had a couple pieces of mail, a half a bar of blue soap. You know that's that state soap, that Gucci. Oh yeah, that double G. Yeah, he had that goo You know what I'm saying? And he had some roll-on deodorant that had about that much more liquid in that damn thing. Oh yeah, that boy was down bad. So you know. I told him, I'm going to keep it pee, man. You know, you need some hygiene, whatever. Go get yourself together. I got you. So, I gave him some toothpaste. I gave him a Colgate. I gave him a Sure deodorant. And I gave him a, uh, a Irish Spring soap. So, I'm like, yeah, man. Go and go get yourself together. So, he go get in the shower. You know what I'm saying? But, I ain't even on couch. Smell like when he got out the shower, he smelled worse. That the first time I experienced that. I'm like, how a nigga get in the shower and get out smelling worse? And I know he got in the shower because he had a wet or whatever. So, you know, I'm like, all right, man. I don't know what buddy got going on. So, I let it ride or whatever. I ain't want no altercation, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm like, all right. Anyway, a couple of days go by or whatever. He had them bit in the room with me a couple of days. But what I noticed, he don't be in the room like that. He be on the go. And the dorm we was in, you had a lot of them rainbow boys in that damn thing. Oh, no. Yeah, no. Like, you had the niggas used to wear net bags. We put our clothes in. Nigga might come out of the room with a net bag on. And they take the M&Ms and put the color off the M&M. Let them melt a little bit and put it on there. Oh, man. Them boys was on some too long food. Oh, no. Hell no. So, really, I played the room while I was in the dorm because I ain't want to just be out there watching TV. You know what I'm saying? And them boys, 
they used to come out the room like they was at a masquerade party or something. Like, them boy had too much going on in their dorm. But it was a money dorm, though. These dudes were scamming. Like, it was so much scam money in the dorm. Like, it, it, it was crazy. Like, niggas was paying the how high just because. You might hear a nigga come out of their room like, man, I got $50 for $10 worth of food right now. Because all the food will run out. You know what I'm saying? Dudes gamble. Dudes cash out. Sell food to other people in other dorms. Like, it circulated and eventually it run out. And only a select few people have food. So, niggas was playing outrageous prices for food because it was so much scam money. You know what I'm saying? You know, it was to the point where we might have a card game, a skin game, Georgia skin going on. It was so much contraband around. Niggas was betting cell phone. Nigga, like, nigga might be like, better phone, nigga. I got shit. I just got 20 on me and better phone. They might tighten up. Better can of cigarettes. Better ounce. Yeah, yeah, it was lit like that in here. You know what I'm saying? It just was always low on food because we could only go to the store one time a week. You know what I'm saying? You can't go but for the 60s. So when you run out, you it just owe it to the net wheat, your store day. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, there was a money dorm. And then you had that, 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 um, this one rainbow boy in there. You know what I'm saying? He would fight with putting money on everybody's books with them credit cards. So, but how you identify who were messing with this rainbow boy? They used to send them little white cards in the in the mail, mail card. If you see a nigga get a little white card, that means he owed a state because it been a fraudulent transaction on his account. So, you know, a couple of days go by. You know what I'm saying? A couple of days turned into a couple of weeks. You know what I'm saying? That boy, that boy Pookie had done started basing on the regular because I used to be on his talk because he wasn't nothing but a J. You know what I'm saying? So... I had them got that boy in rotation on getting them showers out the way because I had to threaten him one time. Like, boy, you don't get in that shower, boy. I swear to God, you going on that dope. You know what I'm saying? For real, for real. He was a civilian. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't affiliated with nobody. So, you know. But as I talked to him, he got better. You know what I'm saying? He started getting in the shower on the regular. So, one day he come in the room. And when he come in the room... I know his stank smell, his musty smell, but this was a different smell like that. It smelled like, boy, that thing smelled like buffalo butt. Like, it didn't smell right. Like, that thing smelled like boing yoing, boy. That thing smelled like choing yoing. I'm like, man, what that smell is? So, I was like, bro, what, is, what, what you got going on? What? It, it's funny smell in the room and you ain't did nothing but walk in. What you got going on? So, he started adjusting his pants and, and, and stuff. I'm like... This boy I got going on. So I was like, bro, you might want to go take you a shower or something, cause you got the room lit, bro. It smell like a nigga took a doodle in here or something, bro. What you got going? Why you smell like that? He like, man, I ain't got nothing going on, man. I just worked out, bro. Cause I be I was in the room, so I don't know if he did or didn't, but I was like, yeah, boy, I don't hit that shower. So he go hit the shower. So, you know, uh, out the blue, he went to the stove. He got stove call. So, I'm like, damn, okay. I said, boy, what you folks sent you some money or something? He was like, oh, yeah, man, yeah, man. My grandma looked out for me, boy, I'm straight, boy. He was like, I can get myself together now. I can go get me a haircut. You know what I'm saying? I can get myself together. So, he get the little stove call, but I see he take half for the stove, and he leave out the room. So, I'm like, where that boy going with the stove? He owe somebody or something? So I don't think no more about it. I don't like that. He business. Then about two weeks later, they doing mail call and the officer got a stack of them little white cards. So he called a mail call. So that thing, no, I didn't know my bunk make real name. You know what I'm saying? So he calling out the, the card. So he called the name and that thing, no, I see my, my roommate. He come out another nigga room like, yeah, yeah. They like, hey, bro, you got mail. They hand him one of them white cards. I'm like, oh, two plus two do equal four. You just got that card, and the only way you could have got that card if you messed with that rainbow boy, and he put that money on your book. So I'm like, oh, that explains that smell when you came up in that damn thing. So I'm like, okay, okay, okay. I'm going to keep it clear. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to confront him about it. I'm going to ask him about it. You know what I'm saying? So... 
He go back in the room he was in before he got mailed, and then he came back out about 20 minutes later. He came in the room. So I'm like, damn, boy, what you doing with one of them white cards, boy? He was like, oh, man, I don't know what they got going on, boy. They must have made a mistake. Boy, I'm telling you, boy, they must have made a mistake. I don't own nothing. I ain't paying them nothing. They talking about I owe them for a kind. I know my grandma ain't did no fraudulent stuff, man. I don't know what going on, bro. I'm going to get it straight, though. I'm going to get it straight. So I'm like, all right, bro, all right. So two days go by, and one morning, soon as they popped the doors, he got up and he got up out the room. You know what I'm saying? I ain't. I heard the door pop, so I woke up. You know what I'm saying? Doing time, any little sound while you sleep, you gonna wake up. So I hear the door pop, and I hear him. I hear him jump out the bed. You know what I'm saying? He don't even brush his teeth or nothing. He just ease out the room. I know he thought I was asleep, cause. You know what I'm saying? I'm laying there like this, and it looked like my eye closed, but my eyes are low anyway. So it looked like I'm asleep, but I ain't. I'm looking dead at him while he looking at me, but he ain't turn the light on. He just looking at me to see if I'm asleep. So I was like, that threw, uh, threw my antennas up right there. I'm like, Shh, what that boy got going on? So I let him leave out the room, and I wait about 10 seconds, and I jump up, and I look at the door. So when I look out the door, the little window that's in our door, I see him spin the block. He walk a couple laps around the dorm. I guess he peeping the scene for something. It look like he trying to peep the scene. So he been by two laps. The next thing you know, he go in the rainbow room, the rainbow boy room. Oh no, hell no, he go in the booty bandit room. So I'm like, boy, that boy, that boy, he creeping. He sneaking and creeping. I'm like, oh yeah. So I go out the room. You know what I'm saying? I go get one of my bros. I be like, hey, bro, do me a favor. He like, what's up? I'm like, hey, man, that nigga, my roommate just went in that nigga room, bro. Goddamn, this nigga, him finna get his ass put on the door because he on some funny shit. He already came in my room smelling like buffalo balls. And now he he in this boy room, boy. I'm like, man, nah, I ain't going for nothing. He getting, it, he, he getting up out of him. You know, we don't even play like that. So, bro, be like, shit, what you want me to do? I said, man, go open the door, go, go knock on buddy's door and tell bro he can come on over here and pack his stuff. So, bro, go to the door. You know what I'm saying? They had the little sock at the top of the door, and they had it pulled real tight. You know what I'm saying? So, when you just initially pull on the door, it don't come open. You got to kind of pull that damn thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you got to pull that damn thing. So, Bro finally pull it. He shake. He was like, hey, man, hey, man, open up that door. Open up that door. Y'all nigga tripping. So he finally get the door. When he opened the door, the, 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 the rainbow boy on his knees, my bunk mate, he bending down trying to pull it. And soon as bro got the door open, you see bro bending down trying to pull his pants up. When the door come open, he stuck with his head pan, with his pan halfway up, looking like a deer in some head. Like his eyes were big, oh big, oh big. He was looking crazy. And then the rainbow boy, he looking up like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh man, hell no. Nah. So I'm like, hey, say, bro, go on, go on, pack your shit, bro. Go on, get this little shit and get your ass on the door, bro. He was like, man. Uh, man, it's y'all all in the nigga penny, man. Man, a nigga, man, I do what I do. I do what I do. I said, hold up, bro. Don't pipe up, bro. Don't pipe up, bro. Pipe that pipe, pipe that shit down, bro. He was like, man, I ain't, man, fuck all that, man. I'm straight. I was like, bro, just come get this shit before I throw this shit out the room, bro. Straight up. He was like, oh, you been out touch my shit. You been out touch my shit. Man, I ran up on that boy and just slapped him. Fow! Yeah, boy, hey, boy, go get it. Go get it. So he get up off the floor. He like, man, I'm finna go get my stuff. Man, I'm finna go get my stuff. I said, get it. Nah, bro, cause next time I touch you, ain't gonna be with my hand, boy. Nigga, pull your ass out, bro. Get this shit and get out my room, bro, straight up. So he go in the room. He get his little sheet and pillowcase. He pull his stuff in there. He tied tight. Then he start going toward the door. Then the booty, the booty bandit gonna tell that boy time some bye boo. I catch up with y'all. I'm like, man, hey man, y'all nigga, tri hey bro, go on get out, bro. Go on get out, bro. You know what I'm saying? So the officer in the booth, he say whatever he say to the officer. Then they pop the door and let him up out of there. You know what I'm saying? He gone to the hole. I ain't even see that boy no more. I don't know what happened to him. I don't care what happened to him, but yeah, man. I already knew what it was, man. He came in the room and that thing was lit, lit. I'm like, man, I knew it, but I ain't just, you know, them type of accusations on a nigga. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, 
That boy that came in the room and changed the whole trajectory of the room. Like, and that thing was lit. And I knew it was something flaky. But yeah, that little white card, yeah, that's a fraudulent activity card. Yeah, that boy got that thing. I just had to confirm it and show sure no. Yeah, my my G opened the door and that boy was down there. He was pitching woo. He was with cornbread all life. Oh yeah. He yeah. Yeah, man, he was burning Mac. Oh, yeah, burning Mac and cornbread. Oh, yeah, they was in that damn thing, boy. But he got up out of there, so I ain't had that problem no more. You feel me? But, yeah, man, y'all stay out of trouble, man, for real. So you will never have to experience that, boy, because these dudes be funny, man, young, boy. Oh, no. Hell, no, you have to be careful who you around because you never know. Sometimes be the realest niggas. You think the realest niggas and them boy be whole rainbows. You feel me? But yeah, y'all stay tuned. I be bite. Not back. I be bite with another one. It's your boy Charlie Global back once again with another one. Y'all follow me on Instagram at King Charlie KMF. Follow me on Facebook at Charlie Boss. B-O-S-S. Oh, yeah. And subscribe to my channel on YouTube. Charlie Global, oh yeah, nothing but pressure on up. Y'all pull up on me, oh yeah. Shout out to that boy Dante. We in it, damn thing. Yes, sir. Hey, did you know that I do promotions now? I promote all social media channels such as Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. You name it, I promote it. Also, I promote products and businesses also. So if you need promo, get in contact with me. All right, y'all, it's the fall season. Make sure y'all cop y'all military mind game merchandise. I got hoodies for you. I got shirts for you. I even got coffee mugs for you. Y'all see that hat? Y'all see that pillow? Make sure y'all cop y'all military mind game merchandise. I have the link pinned at the top of the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, Make sure you click this video. Until next time.